Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and we got some cool photos for you this morning. We have new interior photos of the GMC Sierra. Looks like the Denali trim. The photographer was able to get, kind of take some shots through the window, and so he emailed me. I bought them. I'm going to put them on the screen for you guys to check them out. So these are the what looks like to be a prototype of a new interior coming to the GMC Sierra. Now, we're not sure what timing this is going to be, but let's go ahead and look at these photos, and let's go ahead and dive into this. So from the spy photographer, we can see a new instrument cluster has been teased, but now you get a first look at the truck's overhauled center stack. You can see the new ultra-wide entertainment screen is topped by some air vents. There's a physical knob that seems to control the volume left-hand side of the screen. Thank goodness, physical knobs. There's physical HVAC controls below that cluster, so heating and cooling uh, buttons. Then another row of buttons spans beneath the HVAC controls. These are probably the piano, piano keys GMs use for years. Now, the other thing you can see is that it looks like there's a search window open on display, and they said it appears the GM's refreshed internal combustion engines will get a version of an Android Auto OS with the Google built-in capability. It's just announced in the GMC Hummer EV, so if they use Android Auto OS, it's a new version of that, and you'll be able to search through a search bar. Just kind of cool if you're uh, traveling somewhere, you want to look for hotels, you want to look for stuff, or you want to just search something real fast, you can use that on your screen instead of your phone. Use the phone. Anyways, uh, this other big news, if you look closely, the center console is going to have a shifter now. The column shifter is gone. Um, it had a column shifter, for, I think, all of last year as well. And so now there'll be a console mounted shifter, and you'll be able to use that. And it looks kind of nice in the photos when I was looking at the stuff. And it looks like the interior is a little bit different than the Silverado. So the swipe photos we've seen of Silverado. Looks like it'll be different interiors from each of the different trucks. Uh, we have to wait till the Chevy comes out. We have to wait for the final, you know, ideas. And there was some conversation about that being delayed. Check the link above. Looks like 2022 model might be delayed. And last thing you can see in this prototype, there's no Super Cruise on this prototype. They're talking about this coming in the Sierra. It's teased for the Sierra pickups. So I expect a Super Cruise, that's their hands-free driving, to appear on Denali. I'm sure it's going to be an option package that's going to come out in Denali. So that's what we see right now with the GMC Sierra Denali with the interior. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it looks a lot better. I think it's a lot bigger screen. I think it's going to get answer what the critics have said about the interior. Take the next step up. Now, as far as timing goes, it's all up in the air right now. Semiconductor shortages, foam seat shortages, rubber shortages. There's tons of shortages going on. And you can see the screen's going to use some more semiconductors as well. So it may be used the same or more either way. Um, with the shortages, a lot of companies have been delaying new vehicle releases or coming to the marketplace until they actually can fulfill demand right away. That's kind of like the whole what's going on with the Bronco, where a lot of orders are placed, but they can't build them. And so you have these upset customer expectations. I think in this case, you're going to see GMC probably going to hold off a little bit. I would think that'd be the smart approach until they can build enough of these and really get people excited about buying them. So I could see late uh, this year, you'd see maybe a, a reveal of these refresh GMC Sierra and Silverado and going on sale probably in 2023 model year or the spring of 2022 or something like that. I can see it being a while till we see these at the market, but that's what I got today. Put your comments down below. I'd be curious what you guys think. Is this interior better or worse? I get your thoughts. Check the video out of your website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.